What's up guys, welcome back. We're uh, having a little family hike and doing some squirrel hunting. We'd like to do a catch, clean and cook today. All right, we're going this way. There's one of the blinds right there. Dad? Mm-hmm. Dad? Yeah? Dad? Yeah? Dad? Yeah? Dad? Yeah? Dad? Yeah? Dad? Yeah? Did you hear me take a shot? Yeah. yeah, right after you guys turned around, there's a black squirrel near the edge of the trail. What? Really? Oh my gosh, you saw two gray ones. Today we're continuing our squirrel catch, clean, cook. I'm going to be using a 22 today. I hardly ever use my 22. For squirrel hunting, I find it more challenging. There we go. Headshot, instant death. So I creep into this area where I know there's a lot of squirrels. Pretty much right away, I see a black squirrel and I take a couple shots and I think my second shot hit I took a few more shots at it and the squirrel disappeared. So that's really unfortunate because I injured that squirrel and I'm not taking it home for dinner. This squirrel comes into the scene and made sure I had a good, good headshot, instant death. He just dropped in his tracks. So pretty good we've got uh, got one squirrel for the back of the game vest here and uh, yeah we'll, we'll just keep hunting and make sure we get those headshots Well, 
I was trying for a headshot, but I ended up getting it right in the guts there. But uh, we didn't mess up any meat, so that's okay. All right, quick hunt this morning. We're gonna process these squirrels. We're gonna get them home in the refrigerator. And then I'm gonna get my air rifle, which shoots over a thousand feet per second. And we're gonna come back here and try to get some squirrels with that. We'll definitely have to be going for headshots and be within pretty close range. So the first thing I do is I remove the feet at the joint. Remove the tail. I make a little cut just up from midway on the back. Enough so I can get my fingers in here. And then I just pull each way. Get these legs out. Cut around the front legs, keeping as much of that shoulder meat as I can. There's one leg. This other front leg's broken. And then same with the back legs. That's where most of the meat is. Other leg. Just kind of and that's pretty much the same thing I do with a rabbit, but with a rabbit, I would uh Cut out the back straps. All right, now I'm gonna take this meat home and I'm gonna rinse it off real good. Now it is a thing. Squirrel have these little tiny hairs and it gets on the meat and it's a real chore to clean off all of the hair. You gotta rinse them and pick off the little hairs and inspect it and you're gonna find more little hairs and I'm gonna uh, get this meat home, clean it off, I'm gonna put it into a container with some water and a little bit of salt. That's what I do with all my game meat and put that in the fridge for a day. All right, back at it. Got the air gun. It's the uh, Gamo Varmint. Shoots uh, over a thousand feet per second, 0.177s. What's really cool about the air rifle is how quiet it is. If you ever, for whatever reason needed to be stealth this would be the way to do it so we're gonna head back to the same spot
Unbelievable. Just got a rabbit with the air rifle. Put him out of his misery. That's crazy. I can't believe I just got a rabbit with the air rifle. I mean, I, I guess I can believe it. That was incredible. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, we'll save the uh, squirrel hunting with an air gun for a future video. Pretty stoked about this rabbit. Let's, uh, let's go clean this rabbit up and then we'll be on to the cooking. We've got some oil heating up, uh, just a little less than medium on the stove top. We've got our squirrel legs, and then my pancake mix with some salt and pepper. Just gonna mix that together. Oil's heated up. Take my squirrel, put it around in there. Throw it in with the hot oil. I'm gonna brown them a little bit on each side and then I'm gonna cover them up and cook them for about 15 minutes. <laughs> 